guys, it's Firefly Kiri, and today I am bringing you our post battle for the CCL. But I am not alone. Oh, no, no, no. I am with our CCL opponent for week one, the coach of the Safari Zone, Stumpfisks. Say hello, Kendra. Hi. <laughs> I thought she was actually going to say hello, Kendra, just so y'all know. Um, <laughs> I, I really thought she was going to say that. I usually well, don't do that. Uh, uh, so, Kendra, uh, as everybody can see on their screen, we have uh, Kendra's point of view um, yep. of our battle. So, we are going to go ahead and hit play, and we're going to talk about uh, our leads. So, let's go ahead and get that started. All right. So, here I am issuing the challenge to her. And she leaves off with orange juice. Now, why did you lead off with orange juice? I, I led off uh, with orange juice because it had been a really great lead for me when I played uh, on Showdown. But I, I have, I can't touch Chansey. It's too specially bulky. So yeah. I switched into Agron, which has done very well for me against Chansey. Yeah. The reason I led off with Chansey is so I could get these rocks off. And yeah. that was my biggest thing was getting those rocks off. Yeah. And here I, I you. I was kind of hoping you'd forget about rocks on Chansey. Uh, 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 uh. And here she goes for that heavy slam. And was you surprised about the damage? Uh, I was actually thinking it was going to do more. Honestly, because I've seen it do a lot more than that. But I saw in your team building video you were also invested into HP, which I wasn't expecting. Yeah. Now, here, I don't know why I kept going for Thunderbolt. I should have just went ahead and soft-boiled. But anyway, I switch out into Zeus, my Rotom Heat. And uh, what happened when you saw that damage with... Uh, wait, and then you saw my Rotom? I, I, I was impressed with the damage from Heavy Slam, actually, because that's four times resisted. Like, it did almost a quarter of your health. Yeah. Then I switched in here predicting the overheat, and then I was like, I, I knew it was going to Will-O-Wisp, I, for, I just, I forgot that Will-O-Wisp was a thing. And this is not Guts, it is Thick Fat, because I wanted good switch in to Fire-type moves for Aggron. Um, <laughs> so, that, that burn I did not like very much. <laughs> but I had to switch out, because I couldn't do anything. Especially not to Rotom. So I switched in my special wall, Sylveon. Then so switch right back out into Jirachi. Yeah, I I I decided to volt switch here. I was like, uh, -uh no, nope, ain't dealing with this. Nope, bye, get about. And then here is my Artemis. Yeah, I was hoping to be able to get a heal bell off before Jirachi came in, so that I could get Hariyama all better. But I didn't get a chance to do that. Yeah, uh, and here comes here comes Rar, who I was like. <sighs> Which I know Jirachi cannot touch. Although that damage did okay, okay from a crit. Nice and crit. And now it's just like, nope. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> and then back into Rotom to take the obvious earthquake. Mm-hmm. Which I should have predicted the first time, but I didn't. Yeah. And here's Zeus. Now, Kendra, what did you think about my team's uh, nicknames? I really liked the... Uh, Greek gods and goddesses nicknames. Those are really cool. Yeah. As soon as I saw them, I was like, yo, this is cool. Yo, sick alone. Now, this x honestly scared me, because I was not 100% sure of what this x was going to actually do. But I went for an overheat, because nothing really would want to take an overheat, and I was surprised about the damage it did to your x -Plowed. I did not think it was going to do that much. Uh, and then I was... X-Cloud's really bulky. Yeah. Well, not super bulky, but it's it's got 104 base HP. Like, that, that's nothing to laugh at. Oh, no. But I, I just volt switch out and go back into, and go into Artemis. And she goes straight for a boom burst. Which I was expecting to do way more. I was not expecting <laughs> bulky assault vest. So like, <laughs> that did nothing. That's... Well, I, I mean, it did a good amount for how much bulk you had. Mm -hmm. But... I have no clue why I switched into Hariyama here. D 
I was oh crazy. here 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 is the bull crap right here is this bull crap okay so for any of you all who watched my battle yesterday know that this was nothing but bull crap right here so I missed this first Zen headbutt so I think yeah I go for another one I miss again and then I'm just like okay screw this I'm U turn gal because yeah mm, that next really mattered. The, I, the miss mattered because that Hariyama that yeah. that's what comes back and bites me in the butt. And here's this head smash. This was Logan's idea, my assistant coach. He, I was doing practice battles. I was like, my Agron's totally resisted by Rotom Heat. What do I do? He's like, head smash. I'm like, that's a thing. I forgot about that. Yeah, and here she dies, and then I I die as well. Yep. So I, I switch. Yeah, she goes into Smoky and takes fifty percent damage from rocks. Yep, and then, I, and then just brave bird everything takes a lot of skill. <laughs> yeah, I I misclicked here. I should I went for a Dragon Dance, and then after I thought about it, I was like, crap! I should have just went straight for a Waterfall. And honestly, this is probably what cost me quite a bit was not going for that. Uh, waterfall in the first place. So yeah. I go for a protect to get a little bit more leftovers right here. And she goes for the obvious brave bird. Cause I'm not switching out. <laughs> and I was choice banded. So yeah. I could do much of anything else because there's no way I'm switching out and dying to rocks. Like there's no point. Yeah. And so I switch into Hera. And I eat the brave bird. I, I was surprised at how much it did, actually. It did It did 50%. Half. It did about yeah. 50%. But... It's really but, bulky, though, so I, was, I wasn't expecting that much. And then I popped my citrus. <laughs> yep. I was like, no. Leftovers would have been fine, not the citrus. Ugh. And so and, here comes the cicatone. Yep. And then, then I go for boom burst. And then... <laughs> and then this... The crit... The crit happened. Not, I think it did, to be perfectly yeah. honest. And so I go out to Artemis. And I just, I just sack this off because I'm gonna die to rocks when it, if I switch back in. So yeah. So I, I, I stay, stay in, let it die, even though it would be pretty useful. But I can't oh god, it here it is. Once I, I thought, okay, she took that boom burst really well. Maybe she won't outspeed me. And then, and I knew that was my only chance. And then mm -hmm. I, I do that, and I get, get the crit. crit. <laughs> she gets two which, crits in a row, which could have mattered, but I'm not sure because it I, is sheer force life orb. But at the same, damage. yeah, but I'm also assault vest. Yeah, and I, I was uh, invested in a lot in HP. Uh, in HP. So, I think I, she would have took it. So, here I go for a spore, and I'm like, get this stupid thing asleep. Man, I was so prepared for this Amoongus. I had I had sleep talk on my x -Cloud. I had boom burst, flamethrower, ice beam, sleep talk, so that I could switch into a spore. Then my x -Cloud was already dead. And I was really bummed. But I didn't get to use it. And here is the saddest thing ever. The, I, I, this, this. Going back and thinking about it. I think you actually would have had a better, done better if you'd have dragon danced then waterfalled in this particular situation, because you would have outsped the next turn. Yeah. After I live on four, and you would have killed me instead of me living on four and then waking up. But yeah, I have no way of knowing that. I would have expected it to kill as well. Yeah, so I thought that. that I would have thought, I thought that that was going to kill, but of course, no! She had to live on four. <laughs> I'm a terrible person, I know. And, uh, you go for the sludge wave, which... I tried to get as much damage off as possible so I could bring in Sylveon and just hyper voice it. Yeah. Because I knew I was going to outspeed, because the Moongus is base 30. Yeah, and it's slow, it's slow ass. If I had that up before the battle, I would have thought it was a bit faster than that, and I would have been more nervous. Yeah. But, so I just brought in Sylveon and um, went for the Hyper Voice to finish it off because it's at such low HP that I know it's going to kill. Yeah. And it, it's, it, was, it, was, it was sad because now 
my two things to kill this stupid Sylveon is gone. Yeah, and here it started playing really badly. I I want it. I wasn't sure if Hyper Voice would kill from that since I'm not super since I'm not invested into special attack. So I wanted to make sure I had Hariyama okay in case I needed it. In case like I couldn't um like I knew I could stall you out with Sylveon, but I didn't want to stall you out. And I started going for calm minds, thinking like, okay, I can get up to plus six and then hyper voice it and it'll do about half, maybe out doing soft boiled. Then after a couple turns of that I realized that was stupid. Yeah, and that that was and honestly if y'all go back and watch my video, I was starting to get so mad at her. I was laughing so hard when I saw that in the video. Oh. I was oh I was so mad. If you all watch, and here I go for a toxic, cause why not? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I saw no reason not to. Yeah, e except for after I toxic, I was like, wait, she's she has hillbill. Yeah, and I was like, crap. And here I went for wish, cause I knew that I needed to switch out into Hariyama, cause I didn't yeah. want to keep calm minding, cause that was stupid. And so I wished to make sure that he would be at a good amount of HP so that he wouldn't be at any risk when I brought him in. Um, so I, I made sure I got a wish off so that I could just bring it in super safely, all healed up, got rid of its burn. It's all good. <laughs> and here's the area I'm taking the rocks damage, and then I go for the T-Bolt, because that is the only move that was on my Chansey that was attacking, and she gets the wish. And, honestly, uh, I think it was Cyclone or someone had, uh, suggested that I had put Hyper Voice on Chansey, uh, which makes more sense, but, you know, because it was Stab. And here I went for a second knockoff because I, I just wasn't paying attention anymore. I was just like, I kind of like zoned out and then I was just like, okay, click move, done. And Got then I saw foil. Then, then I just clicked knockoff and I'm like, did I really just do that? Am I that stupid? But then then I just close combat after that. Look at Hariyama using close combat, just, just zooming all up in on those legs. <laughs> <laughs> on that booty. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's his legs, but whatever. Yeah. It looks like a booty. But over overall, it was a good battle. Um, I, yeah. I, I know that there was some things that I could have done differently, and I'm sure you feel the same way. Yeah, I don't know why I brought in that Hariyama, and I needed that avoid. I really needed it. I I think if if it were just that one thing, I still could have won in the end because I could have beaten you out with Sylveon. If I had to, yeah, like I knew that I could have. I've been in situations against a Chansey before where I've been able to just outstall it with Wish and uh, Calm Mind and Heal Bell to stave off the Toxic. But I got some pretty crucial crits and so, mm -hmm. some some nasty avoids too. And I, I'm 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 just a little hacks person. Like she she's the she's the hacks person of our our community, just so y'all know. Yep. Of uh, the CCL, I, she's she's the hackser. And yeah. uh I don't even try to. It's not even like I make hacksy sets. I just get hacks. Pretty much. So but this is our uh, post battle and I hope you guys enjoyed it. But in the end, Kendra whooped my butt. <laughs> uh, she got a two oh. But it was, good it was a good battle. I agree. But next week, my lovely friends, we are going up against uh, Demon OJM. Oh, goodness. Good luck. <sighs> Thank you. Who do you go up against next week, Kendra? Veronica. All right. So it'll be Veronica versus Kendra next week and me versus Demon next week. And I am going to go and prepare for him very soon. So, I want you guys to remember to be good, stay safe, but always have fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye, Kendra. Bye. Bye.